Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between May 25th and June 1st, 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all zodiac signs. So what is the sky preparing for us this week? Just to take it out to a wider viewpoint, I mean, we're heading into a more turbulent time this is a turbulent year. We have Saturn and Pluto conjunct on the south node all through this year and up to the beginning, March, I believe, of next year. It's going to be transformative. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be rough for a lot of us. The world is going through changes. And in this time of change, there are peaks and there are times that are more flowing. And we're going towards one of those peaks that would be here in mid-June, mid-June, and is symbolized by this conjunction of Saturn and Pluto on the south node opposing Mars on the north node. We're talking about the Capricorn Cancer axis. We're talking about the south and north node. We're talking about uh, uh, Saturn, Pluto, and Mars. Whichever way we look at it, this is a combustive uh, formation emotionally. This is a time that we could deal with a lot of emotional changes with needs that are not met by our society, by a need to grow up and mature and transcend. And it's definitely a time that has a more militaristic kind of atmosphere to it, whether um, conflicts erupt towards the, the summer or not, this is certainly a time that can spell out a more militaristic atmosphere in our personal lives and in the general public. And militarism, and if I want to talk about it as a term, is Saturnian. Pluto and Saturn, or Mars and Saturn, are armies. And it's about the discipline. It's about the discipline to act as one. Now, we, we, we have to understand that every symbol, even the darkest one, has an equally positive symbolism, symbolism as well. And if we take that as a time that we can join together, that we can adhere to a certain restraint, to a certain code, to a certain um, obligation that is opposed by ourselves, on ourselves, for a need to act as a greater force. That could be amazing, you know. It is us educating ourselves how to wield greater power, both personally and generally. We are educating ourselves, Saturn, how to wield greater power, Pluto. The fact that Mars is going to go into that opposition as we draw into June, or it's going to make things more conflictual, more intense, and definitely a time that we have to watch out, not to be too close to that fire of emotion within us. And to be aware that a lot of the darkness of our soul can come out uh, too fast. That we could hastily let that lava flow in our life. And we need to be aware of it. If we're going down to this week specifically, it's a beautiful week. It's a beautiful week and there's a lot of sextiles and trines in the sky. And just a, a feeling that everything is fruiting and blossoming we're heading into a very fruitful time it's a time to establish roots it's a time to build structures that we can later climb upon and um as we go in later to the to the second part of the week we are faced with a very sensitive day on wednesday the 29th as the moon is going to square Mars and conjunct Chiron. It's a time that we could be our own worst enemies and actually act in ways that are not beneficial for us strategically because we are frustrated, because we are hurt. We can even hurt others. 
not only ourselves so we have to be careful with that energy it's a, an especially good time to look at yourself look at yourself in the mirror critically your health your habits your uh, way of life as Venus and Hygieia are conjunct, the goddess of health and hygiene conjuncts Venus, and Venus is also our body, is our relation with the physical. And when the soul enters this plane, this is the first physical form she encounters and encapsulates, and and is encapsulated inside. It's a great time to to make like New Year decisions. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to eat a better diet. I'm going to exercise more. Um, watch your hygiene and take it to a higher level. Improve your value of yourself, of life in general. Talking about Venus, she's heading into a conjunction with the moon on Saturday, the end of the week. And that's actually a magical time that is known in ancient times because the moon channels the qualities of Venus to Earth better so uh, astrological mages like one of my teachers Michael Ofek are taking out a group uh, Michael at least is taking out a group to the middle of the desert for two nights and they're making a talisman a Venus moon talisman it's a Venus moon both in Taurus moon exalted in Taurus Venus ruling Taurus both uh, uh, parties of the night sky <coughs> and have a lot of commonalities so they're making amulets to hold that energy to hold that energy of plentifulness of nurturing and of um, satisfaction emotional satisfaction unfortunately I can't be there myself I'm going out to meet clients in Greece so if you are listening from Greece I'm coming over talk to Alexandra if you want a meeting with me uh, or to Alexia so I said watch it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's not a good not good days for decisions, especially long-term decisions. Mercury is going to square Neptune. We could be presented with information that isn't exact or maybe even wrong. Uh, we could be uh, we can understand things un incorrectly. Un things could be not as clear. So watch that and Venus is getting, you know, after the um, Uranian shocks that Venus has passed through in the last two weeks, she's actually getting some solace in a form of a trying to Saturn at the end of the week. Relationships can grow stronger. This is a time to root. This is a time to establish structures, as I said, also with your work and income. What was new and came into your life, establish it, root it in, dig it in your life. Mercury opposing Jupiter on Friday the 31st as well. Be careful not to say too much, not to exaggerate, um, not to go too far with your decisions and your ideas and your words. And um, this is going to be a very strong opposition and it can draw conflict in the world between the conservative and the more pluralists, between the modern society, modern Western society and traditional society, between the uh, faith and science and so on and so forth. Uh, Saturday the 1st of June is a wonderful day to go outside, enjoy yourself, eat good food, good drinks and just give thanks. It's the moon, Venus conjunction, moon also sextiles Mars, sextiles Neptune and trines Saturn on that day. Such a good day that can actually stay with you and be beneficial and strengthening from for you as a memory and in many other ways like in the bonds that could be bound on that Saturday for a long time. I want to add that we are having a, an advanced group and a beginner group that is going to start mid-June so if you want to join any of them give me a ring you can study through your smartphone or through your computer from wherever you are around the globe. I want to thank you for listening and sharing. May you live long and prosper.